guys? This is Hub from Beer and Magic. This is Josh. This is Ryan. And we are today trying from Bottle Logic. Uh, it's called Fuzzy Logic. So this was a can. They uh, we did a little bit of research on this. It was pretty cool. So uh, if you actually see the artwork on this, it'll make sense when I tell you in a second if you know Disneyland. So originally this can was brewed for uh, Smoke Jumpers Grill, which is next to Soaring California or Soaring Over America in uh, California California Adventures Park, uh, Disneyland. Um, so this is actually a very complex beer. So we, yeah. based it's on supposed to capture California's juicy agricultural history, apparently. Yeah. So what they did with this, this is a hazy IPA uh, from Untap. We did a little research on this. So again, it's uh, it's based a pure Idaho white wheat, dextra pills, unmalted wheat, and flaked oak malts. Uh, it's also topped with mosaic and other auto hops, and it's fermented with white and yellow peaches. That's interesting. So this will be. It'll be I'm different. Of, yeah. of a peach person, so this no. is going to be interesting. And weirdly enough, I don't think of peaches when I think of California. No, I know. I would, think, I would think of oranges. I uh, think of oranges. Oranges, oranges, oranges in Orange yeah. County, you know. But, but I will say, you can smell the peaches. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can smell yeah. Yeah. this. You do? Yeah. yeah. It okay. Give me I, the, it, no, it yeah, smells peachy. But let's try it. Uh, still. It's smooth. I mean, it's actually, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, I'm not... It, I was expecting more. It's different. I mean, well, I think because they have they're using the mosaic hops, so mosaic hops aren't going to be overwhelming. In the it's first not place, the so. hops. It's the I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm not much of a peach person. It's not my least favorite beer, obviously, but it's not like. No. But I can see why they would brew this in California Adventure. I'm just saying, if like this, Disneyland, this makes yeah. Sense. This is a great. I guess if I, I mean, if I was at Disneyland on a hot day walking around, this would be a great beer to drink. I think, but yeah. Sometimes drinking beer, it's all about your atmosphere and things like that. Um, I don't know if I'd want like dinner with this though. It's no, I wouldn't. But I put it this way: on. like normally when we go to Disneyland, like it's the California Adventure, like a lot of it is, you know, Carl Strauss beers. Yeah. And like I said, Tower Ten is normally the one we get when we go. Um, it's not bad. I, I, I like what, that, though, but this, I, I would drink, I, I, I would drink this. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, I I think what I usually would get like a red trolley there or something, yeah. or one of the IPAs from yeah. there, uh, Carl Strauss. But this, I would I would be interested yeah. in trying this. I, I think it'd be good. If it's nice and sunny out, this is a little refreshing, refreshing with the fruitiness, but what do you, what do yeah, you, mean? you don't seem to like it. Yeah. Well, the smell, I was like, okay, this might be all right. There's yeah. a lot of beers to smell, and I go, I can't even kind of smell. But uh, this one, the start was okay, but the finish for me, I yeah, can't, the, I the, can't the end there, that the finish okay. cannot do on this one. Oh. The finish is weird, I give you that. It is, it, like I said, it's, the aftertaste is a little different, but again, yeah. like I said, I, for me, like I said, if I'm at the park right now, the game between this and Tower 10 choices, from Carl Strauss, I would, I would drink this. Yeah, I, would. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'd probably, when you're spending eighteen dollars for a beer, it's you, this is gonna be hard for me to spend eighteen dollars for a beer at Disneyland. To be, to be honest, that's just the yeah, I'll take it. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I would probably, after having this, go back to a Carl Strauss because okay. I know I'm gonna like yeah, that IPA, yeah, you get and it. I'm spending fifteen dollars for know, a beer. Want, but, but again, so okay, so real quick, don't be fooled by this. It's still a 7.1% alcohol yeah, content, so it's still gonna give you a punch. You're gonna get the buzz. But the big thing is it's 14 yeah. IBU, so it's not your typical 60 IBU, yeah. which is more of my style yeah. beer. And so the it's- The label alone is worth getting. The label of the can is awesome. Yeah, I love, just alone, I have to say, Bottle Logic has one of the best styles of like, just their branding, well, any, any of their, their branding is amazing. Their marketing in general. You've yeah. done either, it looked over in their marketing and- Their logo is pure yeah. genius. It's, 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 it's a perfect it's logo. Great. Oh, yeah. It's great. I like the reflectiveness of this. It's got like silver uh, foil on this. This thing's awesome. And like I said, it makes sense. Like I said, if you know anything about Disneyland at all, California Adventure and Soaring Over California yeah. or Soaring Over America as they call it now. Definitely see this. The artwork you get completely yeah, yeah. And, and it's, again, like I said, I'm surprised they didn't do oranges, but I'm guessing because everyone does oranges yeah. already. Majority of the time they want something different. I so. have to give them, it's unique, it was bold move, and but yeah. what do you mean? What do you mean rating wise? I'm gonna have to two nine, two point nine. Really? Okay. I just it's just not my type of. So you're okay. So you're right. Is that where you're gonna write it? Okay. See, I'm running about there. We got. I, okay. I was gonna. Off. I was gonna give it. A, I was gonna give it about a three seven. Three seven? Yeah. yeah. And I think it's. I, I enjoy it, so I'm giving it three seven. Okay. Hey, hey un, un, Untapped has it a four point oh four right now. I can see a lot of people enjoying this. If you're not into heavy IPAs or anything like that, super hoppy, you're not gonna get that. You're yeah, not you're gonna not, get you that. Say, yeah, if you don't, if, a, yeah. if you don't want the bitterness and you wanna get, you know, if yeah. you wanna get a little buzz, this is gonna be a good one to get. Yeah, so, so I mean, 
Go try it. Let us know what you think. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you'll see our reviews there. Also, uh, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. It helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow yeah. us on Untapped. So if you look up beer underscore and underscore magic, make sure to follow us there. Uh, you can see all our past reviews, yeah. reviews, what beers and suggest beers that you think we should try. But uh, thanks for checking yeah. out our video. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.